Welcome back to another LSPDFR patrol for today's episode. This is gonna be the last episode. We're taking a look at this beta pack by Cartrez on his Boston Police Department based pack. This is gonna be his unmarked Caprice that's included in the pack. Uh, we'll take a look at this thing as we begin today's patrol. Let's go ahead, take a look at the interior real quick. So you can see we got the standard um, police laptop in here, no partition. This is really kind of a detective vehicle uh, model. Interior of the model is very well laid out. We go to the outside, you can see fairly minimal equipment since it's unmarked. Let me actually just pull it out here in the sunlight a little bit and we'll take a look at the lighting. There's stage one, stage two, and stage three lighting. So it looks pretty cool. I like the minimal setup for the detective cars. I noticed, however, this one just has the standard license plate. So you can see in front of us, the 2013 FPI used got the Boston Police Department inspiring license plate. This one's just a standard Los Santos, but that that's like a fairly minor thing that could be fixed. Um, just looking in here as well, Looks like we have radio and siren control down there in the center. The uniform today is from EUP, of course, and it's the detective uniform. You can see we just got a tie. We've got our uh, ammunition right there, our badge as well. Um, other updates we have to the game include more friendly search items has been updated by Lost Boy Lazarus. There's now over 100 new lore friendly items that have been added into version 2.8.0.0. Uh, including reworking and removing several items. So we'll take a look at that if we're searching anybody. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead, get this patrol started. Dispatch week in 18, show me 1041, 10 8. Roger that, one Lincoln 18. Dispatch League in 18, show me on scene. 10 4, copy that. 1, Lincoln 18. Okay, uh, we're going to be on scene here. We're in the Rockford Hills area on Dorset Drive. We had reports of a shooting in the area. I believe this car, this blue SUV, was uh, shot at by a passerby. What I'm going to do here is uh, put up some cones real quick kind of mark off our scene and uh, we will go from there and go ahead open the trunk up for us vehicle options go. I'm gonna pull these cones out of the back here and just put them down Okay. And we will shut this trunk real quick so people can see the police lights. Perfect. All right, so let's take a look at this car. This was the vehicle, oh my gosh. We've got multiple gunshots here in the door of the car. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it looks like to, it appears to be at least seven of those shots actually connected with the car. Possibly eight. There's one up front as well. Uh, let's run a plate of the car real quick. We have not made contact with the owner of this vehicle. Literally, call just came in for us to go investigate this. So what we'll do here is go ahead and search it. Dispatch requesting plate check. It's gonna be two five Sam Nora. Sam 870. Come on, buddy. Suspect's license plate. Can do it. Two, five, Sam, Nora, Sam, eight, seven, put zero. put a cone right a here. traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Obviously, you can't get right there, man. I don't know what she's trying to do. Okay, uh, I believe that was no flags on the vehicle. I missed it, though. Other than expired registration, which... Isn't really a concern. What we're gonna do now is since we know there's a crime that's been here, 
we do have the right to search the vehicle. So we're going to do that here. Okay, let's see what we find. We've got a pair of sunglasses, printed article about a heist, a, a napkin, and a ticket stub. So nothing really illegal there. Let's see if we can find any witnesses to the crime in the area. See if there's anybody just standing here. I'll probably just try to interview this one lady here who uh, is standing there and we'll just see if they have any information about what occurred here. Hey ma'am, how you doing? I'm Detective Carson with the LSPD. Um, we had reports of a shooting in the area. Did you see anything uh, questionable recently? Okay, I'm sorry to hear about the sun. So you're, you're telling me you didn't see anything? Okay. That's fine. Just trying to get uh, information. See if there are any witnesses. This was a warning. All right. Let me just try one more. Fuck me. How you doing, ma'am? I'm Wait. Detective Carson with the LSPD. I'm here investigating a shooting. Uh, did you see anything suspicious recently? Please mind your own business. Okay. No. No worries. I'm just uh, trying to get information. See if uh, anyone saw what happened. So. Uh, Apologize for bothering Stay you. Out of trouble. Talk about rude. Okay, uh, the other thing we'll probably have to do is pull any footage from any businesses that have cameras here pointing at Dorset Drive. Hey. Other than that, that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do at the moment. Um, we will go ahead and get all the uh, bullet casings picked up here and marked. And uh, we'll wait for another call out. All units, citizens report suspicious activity in Little Soul. Units respond code 2. Dispatch Lincoln 18, copy that. Show me responding. Roger that. Okay, uh, we're getting a call that's been forwarded to detectives about a uh, some suspicious activity. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. Let's uh, log in here. See what our call details. A member of the public has called 911 from an ATM. Reporting party states that they noticed an individual engaging in suspicious behavior near the ATM. Okay, so we got information about a caller. We're going to head over there and check it out. See if anything uh, is going on that shouldn't be. Fairly close by. Okay, it's gonna be a white female in red is our caller information. Attention all units, officers have arrived. Yo, what's up with the gato de locos? Okay, I think the caller is over there. Let me just flip around here. Hey, how you doing? Yep, I see somebody waving us down. Is that a knee brace? I've never seen a knee brace in this game. What? It... Did you guys know this was a thing? Hey there, I'm Detective Carson with the LSPD. Did you call 911, ma'am? Tell me what you saw. Officer, look at the creepy man over there now by the ATM. Can't really see that well from here. Can you tell me what he's doing? He's watching each and every person who goes to use the ATM. Okay. Can you tell me what he looks like? He's a white male. Okay. Suspect is Has he been approaching anybody? Male. Nope. Haven't seen him approaching anybody. Have you seen any type of weapons? He seems to be carrying a crowbar. Well, was sort of concealing it. Okay. All right, I'll go ahead and take a look at it. Um, can I just get your ID for my report? Okay, Carly Red, thank you so much for calling. 
Uh, you can take this back. I just need to notate this real quick. All right, I'll go over there and take a look at it. Okay, so, um, person in question is by the ATM. I think they might have already left. Let me uh, get back in the car there, drive by the ATM, see if anybody's still there. Okay, so she was talking about this ATM. The only descriptor I got was a white male. And it appears that nobody is right by the ATM now. However, we do have a marker that we're gonna go ahead and check out here. Interesting. I'm gonna flip around there. She said he was holding a crowbar but concealing it. So um, I'm gonna see if I see somebody walking around with a crowbar. Potentially I could stop him on that. Really, we don't have probable cause unless we see them doing something. Okay, this guy right here, kind of walking away hurriedly. Let's see if we if he wants to chat. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. LSPD here. Uh, you mind chatting with me for a second? Sir. Messed up. Hold here. Okay. Yep. I just want to have a chat, sir. Oh my gosh. He is being super fidgety. Sir, what's going on? What are you doing in this area? Now, he, now he's running. Okay, that freeze. Dispatch, we're gonna be chasing a subject, gonna be a white male in a white tank top, headed uh, southbound Ginger Street. Freeze, buddy. Get on the ground. Let me see your hands, I've got you at gunpoint. Don't do anything dumb. All right, let's go ahead and get him arrested. Not your lucky day, pal. I gotta figure out why he was running. All right, man, tell me why you're running. What's going on? Okay, for your safety and mine, I'm gonna conduct a search. Do what you gotta do. Gotta make sure you don't have any weapons on, on you. So other than being suspicious, I haven't caught him doing anything illegal yet. And he did have a crowbar on him. All right, sir, come walk back uh, to my vehicle. I wanna run your ID, check some stuff out. If you look clear, I'll let you go. Uh, however, we got a 911 report. You're in the area doing some suspicious activity. That's why I initiated that stop with you and when you started running, man, that's why I uh, pursued you. So he could have, you know, said he just didn't want to talk, I guess, and walked away. But the fact he ran is why we arrested him. So I'm a little, <laughs> this is more of a gray area for me. I don't, I really don't think we're going to have anything that's going to stick on him. And I think he's probably going to end up being let go. However, um, you know, cases like this, uh, th they really depend on the evidence. And if you want somebody to be convicted, you've got to have a plethora of evidence to, to fall back on. If you don't, your case is going to be too weak and uh, it just will not, the state is uh, so broke. you know, it might not even make it to, the, to court, honestly. So something to consider. All right, sir. So I found the crowbar on you. Uh, what we're going to do is get a check of your ID, see if you have any warrants out. Dispatch requesting pet check. 10 4 1 Lincoln 18. All right, come on. It's gonna be Justin Edwards 1574. No active warrant, okay.
based off of the evidence we collected, also the fact he doesn't have warrant, it's not necessarily legal to hold a crowbar. It is suspicious. Um, let's see if we ask him what he was doing, if he tells us anything. I'm headed to the airport. I got a plan to catch. Yeah, man, there's nothing we can do here to hold him. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and cut him loose. All right, sir. I'm going to go ahead and release you at this time. You're free to leave. Um, after running your ID and uh, checking our systems, it's, it seems like you're perfectly clean. However, just keep in mind your activities. Somebody was uh, worried about what you're doing. So let's keep that in mind for future. Stay out of trouble. Hell. Okay, the last thing I want to do is actually head to where the ATM was and just make sure there's not a piece of evidence I'm possibly missing there. Sometimes there's things that get dropped by suspects with the Peter U callouts. So I just want to verify that is not the case for today. Not expecting anything, but uh, you never know. Just trying to do our job to the best of our ability. So they said he was at uh, one of these ATMs. I'm not seeing anything on the ground here or by the ATMs. Yep. All right. Really nothing much we can do in this case. Let's go ahead and let dispatch know. Dispatch League in 18. I'm going to be code 4. Roger. One. Lincoln. 18. All right. Well, that is going to conclude our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed this detective base series, and I hope you enjoyed the Boston PD pack. Should have a re release date towards the end of the month. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave it down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys on the next patrol.